Porter to see how he liked the feel of the job. Ora Hans, the youngest, the little girl from Ireland. Might be a bit lonely. It's every man for himself here. How do you like being angels then? Being what? Angels. It's right, isn't it, Foreman? Well, what she means is it's a nickname we got stuck with. Angels. Or St. Angela's, see. And Minister. Oh, yuck. I think it's rather clever. <laughs> you wouldn't worry. <laughs> now, one of you on each side of the bed, the rest watch. Take hold of the sheet, pull it tight across the bed so you can see how much you've got. That's it. So you've got equal amounts on either side of the bed. Now, stand with your feet well apart. Rock so that you're not straining your body. I know it sounds like an Olympic exercise, but by the time you've made a few dozen beds in a morning, you'll soon know if you haven't done it sensibly. The opening of the pillow and the wording on it should be on the side away from the ward door. What for? Neatness. It's just as easy to do it all the right way as the wrong way. What's wrong? Nothing. I think everything seems very sensible so far. You're much too impatient, Pat. <laughs> yes, I know. Can't wait to be matron. Come on, I'll show you the sights. What? Of London town. All you've seen of it so far is the tube between Paddington and here, and that's not exactly a tourist's must. Pat, I've got things to do. Well, I want to write home. <laughs> you wrote home last night. Only a note. I was too tired to write much. I want to tell them all about today. Look, leave it till tomorrow, and you'll have two whole exciting, bustling, fascinating days as a nurse to tell them about. Well, what would we do? Well, we'll start with the strip joints in Soho, and then we'll... Oh, Maureen, what do you think we'll do? All the usual corny tourist bit. I'll show you Piccadilly, Marble Arch, and the Mall, um, St. James's Park, Westminster Abbey, Oh, and the changing of the guard. Buckingham Palace. Of course, Buckingham Palace. We can't miss that out. I mean, who knows if she's in, she might even invite us to tea. Nurse Morahan just come over from Ireland, Your Majesty. Oh, Pat, you're a real fool. <laughs> house. 
where the Lord Mayor lives. Oh, that's the corn exchange. Fantastic. <laughs> Enjoyed it? Did I? <laughs> oh, well, we only saw a tiny fraction. London's a pretty big place, you know. There's the museums, the art galleries, the parks. What I'd love to see is the crown jewels and all around the tower. Right, crown jewels on our next itinerary. What is it? My brother phoned. He wants me to ring right away. He says it's very important. Well, we better go down I and see. I can't. He phoned us after half past six from the local shop. Mm. Mummy hasn't got a telephone. I can't go waking them all up now. It's gone eleven. But if it's important, I don't know. Look, love, leave it till the morning. You're quite right. You can't expect the neighbours to go trotting around at this time of night. They've all been in bed hours ago. How old did you say he was? Patrick. Thirteen. Well, then, it's probably some little message he forgot to give you or something. You know how kids like to dramatise. If it was really important or something was wrong, your mother would have phoned herself, wouldn't she? Or one of the grown-ups. I suppose so. Of course they would. Probably he just fancied making a long-distance call to England. Patrick would. <laughs> OK, then. You hop into bed, get a good night's sleep and phone first thing in the morning before he goes to school. Yes, yes, I'll do that. And Pat, thanks. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, <laughs> mum. It's always the way down. Oh, oh good. Here she comes. Patrick says I'll have to go home. She says Mummy's missing me something awful. She's done nothing but cry since I came away. Well, obviously she'll miss you, love. I mean, you miss them, but not as much, because you've been madly busy, that's all. Doesn't mean you've got to go back. I should never have left. Hasn't she got any news? Just the little ones. A couple of aunts in the next village and neighbours. She's on me since my dad died. Well, naturally, it's left a big gap in her life. But she'll get over it. Listen, why don't you nip home for a few days? Let her see you're well and happy, and I'm sure she'll be perfectly okay. How can I? I'll ask them to give you a few days off. Do you think they would? If you explain why, I'm sure they would. Oh, that's a bit tough. She's only just made the journey. I know, but it won't be so bad now she knows the ropes. It's in a good cause. I can lend you the fare. That's no problem. Oh, thanks all the same, Pat. I have a little safe, an emergency. I can manage. Right, then. First thing after breakfast, you go and see Windrop. Did you manage to see Miss Windrop? No, she was in a meeting. I've got to go back at half past ten. All right. Just sit down and join him. We've only just started. Don't worry. It'll be OK. Can you pass these right us? I'm sorry, my dear, but it's a hospital rule and a very firm one. During the introductory course, a girl can only have three days leave. In order to get home and back and make quite sure everything was all right with your mother, you'd need at the very least a week, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, if you really are concerned about the situation at home, the only thing I can suggest is that you uh, go back and then return to us for the start of the new course. If you've sorted things out happily, that is. When would that be, then? Well, not for another six months, I'm afraid. We only have an intake twice a year. We'd uh, be very sorry to lose you, Nass. Just the kind of girl we want. I have a feeling that eventually you'd be a great credit to the profession. It's what I've always wanted to do, ever since I was a little girl. No, but it's not. Look at the question. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? Are you going back? Have you decided? We're going to we'll have to. It's all that is to it. Matters, doesn't it? 
What does? Yes. Mm. Of course it does. I mean, of course it does. Mm. Lucky girl. Lucky. You grow them yourself? You must have a greenhouse then. I love croissants. They're one of my favourites. I like the great big curly mop heads. Grow those too. Too big for here. Flower shows. You do flower shows? Local croissant society. Won prizes. Ooh. Silver medal last year. Terrific. <laughs> Won't be entering this year. <laughs> Never mind. Next year you'll be able to. And you'll win the gold, won't you, nurse? That's a promise. Yes, I heard what you said. Yes, I know what is costing me. Don't you worry about that. Well, if you're positive. Of course I will. Yes, I am. Great. I'll write all about it tomorrow. Give my love to the kids and yourself. Oh, and Mammy, thank Father Ryan. Bye now, Mammy. Take care. God bless. She was there at Father Ryan's, waiting for me to telephone. And everything's all right? Young Patrick was just making a mountain out of a molehill. No, she admitted after I'd gone, she did get awful upset and was crying all the time, like he said. Oh, she was mighty cross, he told me. <laughs> She said she didn't think she could take it, me going, but Father Ryan talked to her. She still missed me like mad, but she's not going to stand in my way and stop me being a nurse the way my granny had with her. Your gran was ill. That's just it. Mammy says she's not sick, just depressed, and she can get over that. She's beginning to already. And now she knows I'm not all mopey miserable. It's making her feel better too. I told you it would. So you can stay after all? Yes. Yes, I can stay.